So you want to make a hundred dollars a day, but you're broke. Let's change that, shall we? Yo, what's up guys? If you already know me, nice to see you again. If you don't, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over three ways that you can earn a hundred dollars a day, even as a broke teenager. I've seen heaps of videos similar to this online, but to be honest, most of the strategies don't actually work. I can wholeheartedly say that what I'm about to share in this video does work, and with effort, can provide an extremely solid income, no matter how old you are. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. We have all been broke at one point, and for me, it was a few years ago when I was 15 years old. I was just starting to become interested in entrepreneurship and wanted to develop a stream of income online. You can check out the last video I posted if you want to learn a bit more about my business journey. But I basically jumped from business to business, building new streams, and I was lucky enough to find success online. Anyway, as someone who's been a broke teen, it feels like you don't have many options. The term, money makes money, is always floating around, and it can be pretty disheartening when you've only got $10 in your bank account. No, 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 no. Don't be fooled though, there are plenty of ways you can start making a solid income online without needing a cent in upfront investment. I have personally tried and succeeded with a few of these methods and the others I learnt from friends in the industry who have built booming businesses around these concepts. Now, the first and best way in my opinion to start making $100 a day is through a dropshipping store. Don't click away, I know you've probably heard the term dropshipping a million times by now, but let me explain. With a zero dollar budget, purchasing ads isn't really an option. However, there's a few sneaky ways you can utilize Instagram to generate free traffic to the store. Now quickly, for those who aren't familiar with the dropship model, it's where you create a website, add products from Chinese manufacturers onto the store, and then advertise the products to customers. When someone buys a $70 product from you, you order the same product from the manufacturer for $20, and you send that straight to the customer, leaving you with $50 in profit. The way you can dropship without buying ads is through creating an affiliate type structure for Instagram influencers. You get in contact with influencers with 10 to 20,000 followers, as usually they won't charge a fee up front as their following isn't quite big enough. And then you give them a link to your store. You can tell them that they can buy anything they want from the store for 70% off, leaving you without a profit or loss for their sales. And then you tell them that when they wear the product and post a photo with it, if they generate any revenue to the store, you'll pay them 20% of what they generate. For example, you create a women's fashion store selling these pajamas. Then you create an Instagram account for the store and message influencers with your pitch. Saying that if they promote the product and generate $500 in sales, you will pay them $100 via PayPal the next day. For the most part, influencers are usually super on board with this. And when they only have 10 to 20,000 followers, it means they aren't quite big enough to charge an upfront fee, meaning you're not having to risk any money in the beginning. Now, after you launch a few of these campaigns and generate some profit, you can begin transitioning into larger influencers, as now you have profit left over from the previous campaign that you can use to pay their upfront fee. This strategy absolutely snowballs, and before you know it, you'll have a large group of influencers who are consistently promoting your store and bringing in traffic for free. I've tried pretty much every dropshipping strategy out there, and this is by far the best with spending $0 in ad budget. Now you're probably wondering how you can build out the store and do all the back-end business for free, but luckily Shopify, the platform I use, has a 14-day free trial. I don't have a Shopify affiliate link or anything down there, it's just my preference. Now if you start the trial, find out that you don't really like it, you can cancel before the end of the trial and you never need to pay. So, in the case that you want to try this out, here's what you'd do. You'd find the product you want to promote, usually women's clothing works best as it's the demographic of the influencers we'll be targeting. Then, you build out the store. Then, you contact influencers with your pitch. You can usually have everything up and running within 3 days, leaving you with over a week's left of the Shopify free trial which you can use to generate revenue before you need to pay. Through the same strategy, I generated over $1500 in sales without spending a dime on ads. In that, I was also able to branch out to other methods of paid advertising, including Facebook ads, Google ads, and other Instagram paid ads. I'm not going into super specific detail because I don't want the video to be too long, but I'm actually creating a full 2020 dropshipping tutorial soon, which will be free on my YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe down there so you don't miss it. Now, that is my favorite strategy to generate $100 a day, but if it's not your cup of tea, don't worry. We still have two more killer strategies ready to go. Strategy two, becoming a virtual assistant. 
If dropshipping isn't really a thing, but you still want to generate $100 a day, becoming a virtual assistant is super effective. A virtual assistant is basically a helping hand for online store owners, where you're hired to do tasks like respond to emails, fulfill orders through software, and many other basic tasks. As an online store owner myself, it can get super time consuming, and hiring a virtual assistant to reduce the workload a bit is super necessary. I'll personally hire a virtual assistant for my store when I'm receiving a lot of orders per day and need help fulfilling or responding to emails. The way you can become a virtual assistant is through getting in contact with store owners on platforms like Facebook and advertising yourself as an assistant to free up their workload. You can write a post in e-commerce Facebook groups, but the most effective method in my opinion is to get in contact directly with other people who are writing posts who seem to be generating a lot of revenue, as likely they need a helping hand. Nine times out of 10, these people will need someone to do their basic tasks, and in that, you can charge upwards of 10 to $15 per hour to do it for them. Now you're probably thinking, if I'm gonna be fulfilling orders, responding to emails, boring stuff like that, why don't I just get a job at Target? There are two reasons for that. Number one is the amount of pure knowledge that you'll be exposed to when you do the work. You will learn what products are selling in the market, what type of complaints customers are making, and a bunch of other factors. Which means that if you ever decide to build your own online store, you have an abundance of knowledge in your brain which has come from pure experience, meaning your likelihood of success is increased tenfold. Now the second reason I like this business is because it's scalable. Where the business can start generating more than $100 a day is if you decide to outsource your own work. Meaning that if a website owner is paying you $14 per hour to do certain tasks, you can outsource these tasks to someone willing to work for $12 an hour. Meaning that you're taking $2 per hour by acting as the middleman. And not only that, you're actually providing value as the business owner needs the help and you're also bringing work to someone who may be looking for online employment. If you build a team of 10 assistants and connect them with business owners who are looking for help and your commission is $2 per hour per assistant, that's $20 dollars per hour for you without you having to fulfill orders, respond to emails and do those tasks. All while the business owner is getting great value and you're providing employment to people who may be needing it. So it's a win-win. It's kind of like acting as a temporary hiring agency, bringing employment to businesses and taking a commission from their cut. Now, the third and final strategy for today is through YouTube. Let's hop into my laptop for that one. Before I share this though, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. I try to make these videos as entertaining as possible and leaving a like on the video really helps the YouTube algorithm which helps grow a small channel like mine. Alright, now that that's out of the way, YouTube. But Baxter, I don't have a camera. But Baxter, I don't want to show my face on video. Don't worry, this doesn't mess with any of that. Let me explain. This involves remaking trending content through something called the Creative Commons license. Don't worry, we aren't going to be using any copyrighted content or doing anything sketchy. This is 100% legit and works extremely well. What Creative Commons is, is a license that you can put on your YouTube videos which allows people to reuse your content. Let's jump into my screen so I can show you. So I'm going to go ahead and search top 10 on YouTube. You can see these videos, top 10 magicians worldwide, 83 million views. Top 10 best Harlem Shake versions, 76 million views. Jinx, top 10 savage level 2000% gold digger pranks, 55 million views. So you're seeing all these millions of views on YouTube, but how does that make any money? The secret is through YouTube's monetization platform, which pays creators based on the amount of views they receive. The average CPM for a YouTube channel is around $3, meaning that if you have a video with 1 million views, you'll be paid 3000 USD on average. So, for a video like this with 50 million views, that's 150,000 USD from one video. I think you can see where the $100 a day comes in. So now, you're wondering how do you go about and actually create these types of videos? Well, let me show you. Let's hop back in. You go up here to filter and click Creative Commons. This will show you the videos that are uploaded as Creative Commons and that you can reuse legally. So you can see top 10 dog barking videos compilation 2016, 12 million views. Let's click on that one so you can see. Dogs jumping around straight from Facebook, straight from the internet, straight from other YouTube videos with Creative Commons licensing. Put it together, easy thumbnail, easy title, 12 million views. So let's hop into the calculator. You can see this video alone earned $36,000 just from one video which you probably spent 15 minutes putting together. So you saw that video with 12 million views. What you would do is go ahead and download that video and you would download some similar ones with a lot of views as well. You can just use the basic YouTube to MP4 website to do that. Then you would take the three or four videos that you downloaded and compile them into one video. You can use any online video editor, iMovie, anything you can get your hands on to edit that. You'd mash up the video, find the good parts, put it together and try and make the video around 10 minutes long. A 10 minute video earns more than a five minute video on YouTube as the longer the watch time, the more ads are played and the more money you make as a YouTuber. Then you would upload this new video that you've created onto YouTube, except you would give it a new thumbnail and a new title. 
A thumbnail and title is all you need to make someone click. So if you get those two right, you're pretty much in for success. Instead of the original video that you downloaded, Top 10 Fake Gurus of 2018, you would rename it into Top 10 Fake Gurus of 2019, because everyone loves watching the recent stuff. By using numerous videos and compiling them together, you're effectively creating one larger video, which is the goal. But Baxter, I don't have any subscribers, I don't know how to structure the videos. Guys, go and search up Top 10 and look at the channels which are posting these type of videos. They all started from zero subscribers too. All you need is one video to blow up, get 10 million views at a $3 CPM, and you've made $30,000. I think that's well worth it. You hit the jackpot and get 50 million views, that's $150,000. That is life-changing money. So, if you're sitting there complaining about being broke, get up and do something. I've explained three methods today, but in reality, there are thousands of ways to make a full-time income online. The three I've explained are just my favorites. Now, I'm gonna be releasing full-length value-packed tutorials on each three of these concepts. So make sure you're subscribed down below so when I release the full tutorials for each of these concepts, you don't miss it. Also, make sure you leave a comment down below with any videos you want to see in the future. And if you have a question, DM me on Instagram at EcomBaxter. I reply to every single comment and every single DM. For now, that's the end of the video. But go out, try these yourself, and let me know how you go. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!